Welcome to the ShopBlocks product demonstration. Today we're going to show an example of how using ShopBlocks innovative design tool, BlockLab, we can recreate any website in just a few minutes without the need for qualified web developers. We'll also focus on the things that matter most to growing and ambitious e-commerce businesses, applying modern SEO techniques to increase the flow of traffic to your site, ensuring a great customer experience for the user whilst shopping, and, crucially, how to give you the best chance of converting leads into sales sales with a slick checkout process. It's worth noting that ShopBlocks provide a full migration and design service to help onboard all new customers with minimal fuss and almost zero disruption to your business. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be recreating Apple.com. Here's Apple's live website from September 2018. Apple's website is a nice clean design that shows off their product images. Now, let's move to the ShopBlocks admin system and get started. You'll immediately note the modern look and feel of the admin system with an intuitive user interface. Down the left-hand side are all the day-to-day -day areas of the website. At the top is BlockLab, the most powerful website design tool on the market. BlockLab enables a website to be designed without the need for developers. In BlockLab, we can simply define and design each part of our website. We have the header and footer that will be present across each page of our website. In between are designs for specific pages, such as the home page or category and product pages on our online shop. As we add more page types to our website, they can each be designed here individually. We're going to start off with the header. Let's take a look at how Apple's website header looks. Apple's header contains their logo and a menu with a dark grey background and white text. To create this header in ShopBlocks, we first need our menu to be set up with the correct links. Let's head to Content, then Menus, and add the menu items in ShopBlocks. Here we can add each menu item. Some of Apple's menu items use only a magnifying glass or shopping bag icon. These can also be easily added using the icon control. Let's save our menu and we're all set. Now let's head into BlockLab. First off, we can click the Your Shop button and we will be taken straight to our customer facing website. Right now, the website is completely blank. Back in BlockLab, we're going to get started by setting up our branding. On the Design tab, we can set up our brand colors. I'm going to use a color picker on the browser to get the exact colors from the Apple website and paste them into our brand color palette. Now, anywhere else in the system I go to change a color, I will have our brand color palette just one click away. Next, I will set up our fonts. Let's change all of our fonts to Helvetica to match the Apple website. For our links, let's use our color picker again to get the bluer color of Apple's links and paste that in. Next, let's add our logo. I have Apple's logo downloaded already so I can upload it into the system and we're ready to go. To begin designing our header, I'm just going to add two blocks to the page, a logo block and a menu block. Let's add our logo first. Now, we'll add our menu block, choosing our main menu from the drop-down menu. Now we have the two blocks on the page, one above the other. To get them side by side, we can simply move the menu block up and the block lab will intuitively know to move it into the same row as our logo. Now we can adjust the size of our blocks to match the Apple website.
Next, I will change the background color of the whole row to the dark gray color. Now to adjust the alignment of the text. You'll note that when I roll the mouse over our menu items, the colors currently don't quite match what is on Apple's website. On Apple's site, when I hover over each menu item, they change to a subtle gray color. To match this on our header design, I can use the menu options to set the link hover colors. OK, great. Now the colors are looking just like the Apple site. On Apple's site, however, the menu items are spaced out much wider. To match this, in the menu controls, again, I can adjust the width of our menu items. And now it's looking much better. Our logo is too close to the top. But by selecting this block and using the padding controls, I can move it down into the correct position. I'm happy with the header, so I can click the Publish button in the top right corner, and our live website will be immediately up to date. Let's take a quick look at the customer facing website. When we click Refresh, the new header comes through. Now let's design our home page. In BlockLab, our home page is currently blank. Let's get started by adding a text and image block to the page. I'll simply type in the content I want, then adjust the font sizes in line with Apple's website. On the last line, I want two links, so I can use the link button to create those. Next, I can change the text colors and adjust the alignment. And we're ready to save this block. Note that I didn't change the font here. Instead, BlockLab has automatically used the font I set earlier in the branding settings. Below the text, I'd like the image of the iPhone. I'll add an image block and upload the iPhone image I downloaded earlier. I'm going to change the background color of the rows here to match the Apple website. OK, that looks great. Let's publish and take another look at how our website is coming together. Great. I think we'll all agree the website is shaping up nicely. Back in BlockLab, let's continue by adding the next few content blocks. I'll add another text and image block, using the same settings as before. Let's save that block, and again I'll add an image block below. Let's fix our background colors. And that's looking great. On the Apple website, we also have a white row dividing the iPhone and iPad sections. In BlockLab, I'll just add a blank block to achieve this. OK, this is looking really good. In just a couple of minutes, we've achieved a near perfect design with no coding necessary, and all using BlockLab design tools that are simple, functional, and familiar for any user. ShopBlocks designs everything mobile first to ensure an optimal user experience for your customers every time. With this in mind, let's take a look at how our site is shaping up on desktop, tablet, and mobile sized screens. I can pop my browser into responsive mode and see how the website looks when I change the width of the screen. Let's do the same on Apple's website, OK? On Apple's site, I can see a big change on their mobile site. On small screens, we have the iPhone standing up. 
On wider screens, the iPhone is lying down. This is what we call responsive design. On the different devices, the website is changing in design to optimize the customer experience. This level of optimization will generally require a significant investment and take a long time when working with a web developer. So let's see how we can achieve these exact results in BlockLab in just a few clicks. If we select our image and review the device's controls, we can see three buttons for mobile, tablet and desktop. We don't want this image to show on mobile, so let's uncheck mobile and we're done. Next, I'll add another image block below with the standing iPhone. I can now do the opposite to this row, leaving mobile checked and unchecking the tablet and desktop buttons. Now the images should swap just like the Apple website. Let's take a look at our website and refresh. OK, great. Now I can see the iPhone standing up on small screens and laying down on wider screens, just like the Apple website. One more thing I've noticed is that Apple's header is locked to the top of the screen and always available even when I scroll down the menu. Let's do this in BlockLab as well. I will move back into the header design and select the row I'd like to lock at the top of the screen. Here in Row Controls, I can simply click Fix to Top and we're done. Let's publish our design and check out our website again. After refreshing, our header is now locked to the top. In just a few minutes, we've achieved a sophisticated, responsive design that matches Apple's website. So, now that we have a great looking website, perhaps we want to start selling our products online. ShopBlocks provides a full e-commerce platform, enabling you to add products, take payments and manage your orders. Everything is so easy to use, anyone can do it. In the ShopBlocks admin system, let's head to the products area and add our first product. You'll note that everything you need to add a product is all housed on the same page. No flicking between tabs to add or alter information. Another great ShopBlocks user experience. We're going to add the iPhone X. Let's add this as the product name and put in a new category called Mobile Phones. For the description, I have a little text copy that I can paste into the box here. The next section is Images. For now, let's select those iPhone images I used earlier on our home page. I'll reorder the images so that the standing up phone is the main image for this product. For the price, let's add £999, which is the standard price for the iPhone X. I've already added the minimum information for a product. I could save this now and start selling, or I can continue and add a bit more information. If required, we can add product codes to track our products. Wait for calculating delivery options. I can turn on stock tracking to manage our inventory. The iPhone is available in different colors and with different storage capacity options. Let's add these variants in the next section. For example, let's add two color options first, black and white. Next, let's add some storage options. As we now have two colors and three storage options, we have a total of six product variants. Each variant can be managed individually, should we wish. We can also manage variants as a group. For example, we may want to increase the price of our iPhone depending on the storage capacity select selected. select 64 gigabytes, and I can change the price of both black and white variants at the same time. I'll also do this for the 128 gigabyte option.
Let's skip the product customizations for now, but it's worth mentioning that should I want to upsell other products or allow customers to modify their order in other ways, I could do that here. At the bottom of the page is a preview of what this product will look like in Google's search results. Shopblocks automatically optimizes your products so that they rank highly in Google and other search engines. We provide optimal code, responsive design, SSL security and many other features to give you the best possible chance of ranking well and driving traffic to your online shop. You can take your SEO to the next level by adding additional keywords in this section of the page, such as including alternative words customers may use to find this type of product. Now we can click the Save button. And now we're ready to sell. Now that we've added our first product, let's take a look at the product on our live website. Clicking the View Product button takes us straight to the correct product page. The design of this page is currently using our default design. We can see all of our product content coming through, such as the product name, price, and color stroke storage options. Now let's take a look at this product on the Apple website. OK, I can see that Apple have blue buttons on this page which are a similar colour to meet their blue links but with a gradient. Apple have also included more photos of the iPhone here and they look a bit better than the ones we're using on our site. So let's grab those images and import them into Shopblocks. Next, back in BlockLab, let's head into the product page design. In BlockLab, we can see all of the different blocks on the page, highlighted with a green rectangle as we mouse over the blocks. Now, let's make a few changes to the text. Next, let's move our Add to Basket button up a little. I'd like our buttons to match the Apple website, so let's head to the branding area and adjust our button design. Let's select our button colour first. I'll use the colour picker to grab the blue colour from Apple's website. I'll paste that colour in, then change the button from the flat design to gradient. and choose the Auto Border option. OK, that's looking much better. Now, let's take a look at the customer experience when shopping on our website. When designing this user journey, we've simply opted to mirror Amazon's buying process, capturing GDPR compliant customer data, then taking the customer from basket to purchase securely and efficiently. So let's add our product to basket and complete my order. I'll add my delivery address, then head to the checkout. Here I'm using our default payment gateway, which offers an amazing user experience on all devices. Let's switch to the mobile and see how that looks. This is really important as you should now expect around 70% of your traffic to be coming from mobile phones. As our shopping experience is optimized for all screen sizes, customers find it quick and easy to find your products and complete their payment. So that completes our brief demonstration of shop blocks. In addition to our innovative and modern design tools and e-commerce platform, we also offer integration with a wide range of industry-leading add-ons with partners for accounting, stock management, analytics and much more. To learn more about ShopBlocks or to book some time to speak with a ShopBlocks Pro, please head over to shopblocks.com. Thanks for watching.